Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm back with the Fukano Island Duckity. I had no time to record a speedrun on yesterday's Tropical Island Duckity. Instead I just had a practice run off camera and had a friend of mine. So I have to believe him that he meant it he said. recorded myself the one time I succeed and it's a pretty easy day that it's not on camera and of course there was no use in recording the replays because there's no way to tell the time with that so I must uh, to, uh, be that officially so uh, instead the Fukeno and Dr. T as a replacement for this week. First of all, let's select the right uh, arrow. I think this is the most useful. It's pretty much the same range as tank. This should get 4.1 million gold. To upgrade it, I can of course go for the 2.9 if that's uh, if the older one isn't available. I still have a little backup if I come a little short. So I hope I will get enough. I totally forgot how much total amount of gold and resources is in the Fukeno Island, and I don't have a resource reward. And I'm sure so ain't gonna play from just for the two heroes. If Boom Beach decides to add another HQ and new defenses, reward. But for the time, a big knob. And if I wanna upgrade, then I must um, use the operation in the daily world in the daily trash. That's problems for later, I percent positive I will get the 2.9 million. If the power of this active volcano, my territory will be stronger than I thought. I do not believe you, Dr. T. Ah, prototype module, I like it. It's not the one I use most, but... Eh, pretty decent. I love the fact that Boom Beach decided to put Intel in there. <laughs> Although it seems a little, just 3 extra. So much. Um, I'm not, am I able to use critters for this one? Because there's too much trash. I have to use critters. But let's just use the tricks for the fun of it and get that to get it a lot a lot a lot a lot of stuff. More! Always more! We're greedy! Damn, there's a lot of critters. And little GB because I have nothing else to do with it. And three. Of course, it won't become difficult till the late stages. No losses until the seventh stage. Lately, I've been getting two or three. Whoa, that's a lot of free GD. Two for the seventh level, which is totally acceptable because after this, anyway. Switching right back to the famous RCM to clean with a little bit of my map, which is highly needed. I haven't had much time to. What this is going? Was it critters? I think critters, right? I saw some 
dying smoke and it's and you're in range, I don't get it. You're in range, I don't get it. You're in range, I don't get um, I told you I love my story, what was I talking about? Wow, brain fart. I had a good story going. Oh yeah, I haven't had much time to clear my map and look at it. So. And it's all easy bases that I can do and boost it. I most likely end up doing boost just to get rid of it a little quicker. I rarely need to boost to clean play bases, but it makes it so much faster, and especially the weak training part. It less troops to have. So it's less of an. Uh, waste of time to clean up and of course you saw I dropped light I don't know what I start what my highest was with uh, since I lost my eyes of course my highest with eyes was 1150 I believe and I think I got like 1030 1040 without the ice, so doesn't matter uh, for me there's no I've pushed, I've gone to the top 10 of my country and that's all my goal and it was just too much of a grind to continue and boom enough uh, of a bonus that it feels rewarding for being high in fix thing is you get a little more shards every day because I rarely use the or the um, the the root the stone and the iron I think I haven't used that since I um, upgrading was upgrading my uh, lemon test so yeah for me there's no use in uh, those little rewards so there's no use for me to try to push higher in so it's uh, too much pressure you let it So I'm hoping Boom Beach will add sometime in future something that makes it just more fun to push the VPs a lot. So just clear your map because at this Ooh oh Oh I was so excited I got a crystal but it stayed chip. <laughs> wow. I'm not paying any attention at all. But like I said, I, wow, this is an easy stage. This is probably the easiest stage maybe ever seen. Um, just like this. That boom cannon is not in grey. Hello. No, what was that can do? Hello. That one. Can you help out, left thing? That's a good boy, a uh, girl. Things are driven by ladies in this game. I totally forgot. Well, that's stage seven. No losses. And Captain Epic Park and my lovely tent are just slowly hitting it up. I wish Captain Epic Park was a little more stronger. Same with uh, Search and Brick, by the way. Search and Brick abilities are great. Well, the troop boost 
ability is great, the other two are meh. Not really uh, of a use to me. And that spark is kind of cool in fact that the universal remote yes this bit is getting used more and more in operations to take down rock launchers if you select it and other defenses will take down that defense so it will take less troops to take down a couple of defenses like rocket launchers and then you can take your troops to take down something else like four but for NPC bases and property of course the triggers are the only useful ones and 4.1 I have 7.2 Barely. Oh wait, that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. I think I have enough. If my brain doesn't fart it. Woo! And bye bye gold. And hello gold. Well, they shot certain Rick to 18. That was my goal. I hope you enjoyed the video, it's somehow 13 minutes long. Wow, sorry that I uh, made it that long. I will make an um, operation video later tonight. We probably will succeed Curtain Call. I really hope so, we haven't done this in such a long time. And we have no longer Intel struggle, therefore I'm able to use a couple of uh, Sabotages if needed. I probably won't because it's random and looks like such a waste, but I really hope I can record this and otherwise I will just do yesterday's choke point. <laughs>